arithmetic sequences. In this concept, we're going to focus on arithmetic sequences, which are sequences that have a common difference, where you're either adding or subtracting to get from term to term. The formula that we're going to use for, com for arithmetic formulas is a sub n equals a sub 1, which means your first term, and then in parentheses n minus 1 times d. Now, if I were you, I would write it like this, so that whenever you need to distribute, it's in the front. Okay, an example of one is down here, a sub n equals 3 plus 2 times n minus 1. So here your first term is 3, and your common difference is 2. Whenever we f write our final answer for the writing rules, we're always going to write it in this form right here. The way we get to that form is we distribute the 2, and then we combine like terms. So the simplified form of these rules every time will look like this. Okay, we're going to write a rule for the nth term of the sequence, 7, 11, 15, 19, and then we're going to find a sub 15. So first of all, we need to figure out what a sub 1 is and what our common difference is. a sub 1 is just our first term, that's 7, and the common difference here looks like we are adding 4 every time. Okay, so to write my rule, I'm going to put a sub n equals, put my first term plus my common difference times n minus 1. Now to simplify, I need to distribute 4 and then combine like terms. So there's my rule, and now I need to find a sub 15. That's my 15th term. Instead of writing out every single term to get to the 15th term, I can just plug 15 into my rule and get out the 15th term. So a sub 15 equals 63. Okay, now I'm going to write the rule for my sequence, but this time I'm given the 19th term and the common difference. So I'm going to use my formula and I'm going to plug in what I know. I know the common difference is minus 3 and I know one of my terms. So I'm going to take, I'm going to plug negative 45 in for a sub n and 19 in for n. Now I can solve for a sub 1 to find my first term. I'm always going to start by doing what's inside the parentheses here. So 19 minus 1 is 18. And then take negative 3 times 18. Last, I'm going to add over the 54. And I get a sub 1, my first term, is equal to 9. So now I can write my rule a sub n equals my first term minus 3 times n minus 1. Now make sure, don't ever add or subtract these together first. What comes first is always going to be distributing whenever we're simplifying these. Then you can combine like terms. And there's my rule. The last type of problem here, I'm given two terms and I need to find the rule. So the first thing we have to talk about is the fact that arithmetic sequences are just linear sequences. We have a constant um, growth or decay, depending on if it's a positive or negative um, difference, but we have a constant rate of change, so this is going to be a linear function. We can think of the common difference as our constant rate of change. So to find our difference, I'm going to treat these two terms like two points. We plug in 7, that's our x value. We get out 17, that's our y value. 26 and 93. And we're going to find slope using the slope formula. So recall the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have 93 minus 17 over 26 minus 7. 
I get 76 over 19, which is equal to 4. So my common difference here is 4. So now if you think back to the last problem we just did, we found our rule with just the common difference and one term. So now I have two terms and the common difference. So I'm just going to pick my favorite term, which is going to be the seventh term is 17. And I'm going to find my rule this way. I could have also used the 26th term as well. Okay, so I have a sub n, which is 17, equals my first term, which I don't know, plus my common difference times n, which is 7, minus 1. So I get my first term is negative 7. Now I need to write my final rule. So I get a sub n equals negative 7 plus 4 times n minus 1. Distribute the 4 and combine like terms. And there's my rule. Okay, pause your video now and do the independent practice. Restart it for the answers. For this first problem, I was given one term and my common difference. So I took my equation, I plugged 50 in for a sub n, I plugged 7 in for d, and 11 in for n. After simplifying, I got my first term to be negative 20. Then whenever I wrote my formula out to the right, I, I um, simplified it by distributing the 7 and then combining like terms. On this last one, I was given two terms. So the first thing I did was I found my common difference, which is kind of like slope. And then I picked my favorite term and my slope, and I wrote, or I found my first term. And then I came down here and wrote my final equation by simplifying the formula.